Nine Men Style Articles I Wish I Had Written. Presented by Real Men Real Style, and I'm Antonio Centeno. Okay, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would click on the like button right down there. Okay, so what am I going to cover today? I'll talk about four things. First, what I've been working on over at the Style System. Second, I'm going to introduce you to one of the top style bloggers in New York City. Third, we're going to talk about a classic style blogger over on the West Coast. And four, we're going to talk about an underappreciated style blogger in Washington, D.C. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull this up. So the style system. Yeah, this is what I've been focused on. A lot of you guys know about this. Uh, maybe what you don't know, though, is that a whole section is on the core wardrobe. And I love this section because I broke out over 230 items from the, you know, you click here and you the first thing you look at the core navy suit. I go over all the details of the navy suit, how to wear it, double, single breasted. We talk about casual pieces like the Henley and where they fit in your wardrobe. Talk about Wayfarer sunglasses. We talk about aviator sunglasses. And the best part, you know, like, is that we've got this interaction part here at the bottom where I ask you, I mean, in this case, we're talking about leather jackets, the different styles of leather jackets, how to wear leather jackets, what they go with in your wardrobe. But the big thing here is I want you to take action. So I make you go to a website and basically I have you go through and tell me what what leather jacket do you really like? Which one do you feel suits your personal style? And it's this interaction which is really making the style system awesome. And we've got some really cool bonuses. I can't, uh, this one is how to dress for a nightclub. I had a lot of fun with this one. It's over 30 something pages long. And a lot like my other books, I think we go into a lot of detail about how to get into the nightclub. Let me go ahead and pull this up. So we talk about how to get into the nightclub, how to dress for the nightclub. Uh, you know, a lot of tricks, a lot of this is actually based off research that uh, we went and did and talked to a lot of people who work security in nightclubs, how to skip the lines, how to get in, uh, you know, little, the, the tricks that you need to know if you're going out. So this, that's just one of the seven bonuses that we have in the style system, but that is where I've been focused. But let's go ahead and jump into, you guys are here because we're going to talk about three bloggers and nine articles. The first one is Dan over at the Style Blogger. If you haven't been to his website, you're missing out. Dan is a great writer, very knowledgeable, one of Esquire's best dressed men. And he's in New York City. He's, he's Canadian, but he made his way to New York City. And I just love these articles. So the first one I want to highlight is Dressing Your Body Type, Tips for Heavier Guys. This is a recent article and I love it because he took a larger man, so this isn't Dan, this is a friend of his, but he highlighted how this larger man dresses with style and still looks good. And I love his uh, his last tip, but you're going to have to go to the article to find out what that one's about. This other one, how to reinvent your wardrobe with 25 essential items. Now, I just talked about how I've got an entire section on the core wardrobe, but Dan does a great job of giving you what many men should have. And he goes into the different shirts, the different types of trousers, your belts, a watch, type of sunglasses, the, uh, well, you can go read the article. But again, that is reinvent your wardrobe with 25 essential items. And the other article I'll recommend with Dan, and by the way, Dan has dozens and dozens, if not more, probably well over a hundred great articles, but you really want to read business casual with style. And again, he brings in a friend and I just love the pictures and the detail they go into, into how they put these outfits together. Now, the negative part about this is it they're definitely in New York. I mean, this is not, if you're maybe a, a Southern gentleman, you're down in Austin, Texas, this blog isn't going to do it for you. This is more towards Four Seasons and towards the East Coast. But there's quite a few of you guys out there. But let's say you're a bit older. You're out maybe towards California. You are going to want to go check out a suitable wardrobe. And Will does an excellent job over here. So the first article I'm going to highlight is buying character. And what Will talks about is how these, you know, and Will's, Will's an older guy. I think he's retired. He's in his uh, probably mid sixties, but he talks about how these shoes are actually older than him and how he bought them used and they really have a life and, and a history behind them. And I really enjoy Will's solid writing. And he talks about what really, what it means to be well-dressed. 
a suitable wardrobe. Actually, that's the name of his. Uh, <laughs> that's the name of his blog. But one of my favorite articles that he wrote back in 2006. The key to this article, which just really had a big influence on me when I first read it, was he talks about a gentleman named A.J. Drexel uh, Drexel Biddle. And he was a 63-year-old adjutant general in Pennsylvania, but he was named the best-dressed man in the U.S. The interesting thing about that is his wardrobe only contained seven suits. Now, this was back in 1960s, and he was actually, he had grown up in the uh, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. And this was a man who literally made it through life with minimal amount of clothing. And I'd say this, this article in particular had a big effect on me and how I look at the interchangeable wardrobe. So how many shirts? Great question. I get this question so many times and Will actually doesn't provide an exact answer. He provides you a formula. So who's the third blogger? Who's out in DC? That's going to be Chris Hogan and he's over it off the cuff. And we'll start off with his article, Why Classic Style Makes You a Better Person. You have to read the article to understand what he really means here, but it's a great article, very well put together. And Chris, like I said, he's out in the Washington, D.C. area, and a lot of his stuff is geared towards politics, but he's got these timeless articles I just love. This one, A Brand Called You, and it really talks about what does it mean for something to be luxury, especially when luxury has in many ways gone downhill nowadays. And finally, check out his travel with style. It was a New Year's resolution that he put together, and I have to admit, I've written an article very similar to this, but I really like what he had to say here and how we talked about, you know, just this, you know, making these decisions in your life and sticking with them. And really it's about attitude and being yourself and having a great time wherever you may be. Okay. Well, for more information, you know where to go. Realmenrealstyle.com. Uh, you know, I've got that awesome free 47 page ebook. And if you are, uh, if you're interested in the style system, you go ahead and you can go check out stylesystemsignup.com. I'll, I'll link to it down below. And you can go ahead and go get signed up for our early list for our August. We'll, we'll re, be reopening the style system in August. It's not going to be open until then because I work with everyone as a class and I only lend in a limited amount of people. If, but if you're on the stylesystemsignup.com uh, early list, then you're going to get... Uh, well, you're going to get the biggest discount that I'll, that I'll give and you'll get the first chance to get in. All right. This has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.